How you doing? My name is Jimmy Sanders, uh, Western House Warrior, 92-96. And to the NBA Hall of Fame, I mean, uh, to the High School Hall of Fame this year uh, for, uh, for Western House, May 14th. Um, played with uh, David Stennis, um, won two city championships, went down state twice, three times actually, uh, one year with uh, Hills. Uh, right now I'm throwing a men's tournament, a uh, program at Franklin Park. Uh, it's real nice, a lot of guys coming home ready to play. The gym be packed, as you see. Um, do a lot for the community, not just basketball. We uh, we do what we can to help kids get jobs, uh, tutors, whatever needs to be done in the hood. It's just my home, so I try to bring a lot of stuff different to the uh, to the community, not just basketball, but um, dancing, um, tutoring, helping kids find jobs as possible, trying to lead them in the right direction. Uh, I mean, a couple more guys that's uh, who in our uh, who in our group, who in our little circle. So it's been a few years since we have crossed paths, Jimmy. How did you get exactly to this point now where you're running tournaments? Oh, man, uh, you know, like everybody had the same future trying to make it to the NBA. Uh, uh, my career got cut short at about 25. I uh, tore my rotator cup on my shoulder. Um, so then I realized since I can't play, you know, why not give back? Um, I started the tournament about six years ago. I had got a, um, from the parking lot. I took a parking lot, church parking lot, about two rims. And, and put tape on the ground and started the free throw men's classic. And now we're in our sixth year having to decide, so I'm trying to grow it, grow it more and more. This looks like to me a Westinghouse alumni game here. Oh, Just talk to me about all these guys that we, uh, oh, we haven't got, seen in uh, years. Yeah, at least 10 Westinghouse, at least 10 or 15 Westinghouse players playing in it. They all, uh, they all come out and represent uh, Dave, Dave Bailey, um, Tony Bennett, uh, Ken Ken, uh, Mark Trewell, Martel Bailey, um, Jabari, Jabari Lanier, uh, Craig Franklin, I might be missing somebody, <laughs> but if I miss you, I'm sorry. But rest out showing a lot of love here. And the key point about it, they all playing well. They all still can play basketball, too. It's a great thing you keep up with them. Go back to Westinghouse with me real fast. Give me your highlight, your best memory of a tremendous career over there. Oh, oh man. Uh, had a lot of great, uh, great, great memories. Uh, playing against Ronnie Fields was one of them. Uh, Melvin Eli Randall Ed was one of, one of them. But playing against Kevin Garnett, you know, that's like the memory of all memories. You know what I'm saying? Playing three times, you know, he was like, like a, a man playing against babies, you know what I'm saying? He, he just dunking everything, you know, 39, 26, 18, and 16, you know, mm -hmm. numbers like that. 26, 18, and 20, you know, big numbers. But uh, that was my memory, just playing against him, you know, future Hall of Famer. It's, uh, it's still, it still sticks to my uh, heart right now, just being able to play against him on a regular basis and hang out with him also. Sounds great. Finally, uh, keep us up, up, update us on what's happening for you today. I know you got a little coaching in your future, and what yeah, else is going uh, on? Yeah, uh, this, this last week uh, I sat down with the uh, Crane coaching staff, I mean the college coaching staff. Now I'm officially on board now. I'm a college uh, warrior, college warrior. I'm assistant coach over there, uh, varsity. So I'm just trying to bring a uh, new attitude, uh, different kids, uh, you know, a, a different style, you know, to the program and try to see if I can maybe, maybe, maybe five years down the line have my own program there. Hopefully. <laughs> Finally, you look like you'd still play a little bit. You keeping yeah, up? You yeah. keeping up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still play. I'm, I'm still unguardable. You know, <laughs> I, I, I don't say that, but I'm still, I'm still basically unguardable. You know, I play on Sundays. We're in playoffs right now, so hopefully I can bring home the title, me and my team. But besides that, my life good. You know, I can't complain. You know, I dedicate myself to these kids and, and to the community, to the men, and I'm basically do. I do anything for my community. I do anything for my. Community. Thanks, Jimmy. All right, thanks.